It's fatal to collect. When statue reviews and lectures, giveaways and raffles that'll leave a followers baffled. Got fearing and got loving with new reviews up in the oven. So press like, comment, and go ahead and get the subbing. Collecting is a hobby we do not make in an idol, but on this channel we gon' bring the heat. Better let us compete with our rivals. tours and conversation in this cool nerds nation. So sit back, relax, and let us take you on a convention vacation. From conversation to cosplay, MCU, DC. We got everything for you. Batman is my favorite, DC. Marvel is Black Panther, R.I.P. Chad B. We're in the spring, summer, and fall, in any kind of weather, we collect it forever. Just like, comment, and subscribe to, to Fatal, the, the Collector. collector. It's Fatal the Collector. Today I'm here with my oldest daughter, Aaliyah. Today we're going to be doing an um, a unboxing. This is a, uh, a figure that you all have grown to love. So I'm a little bit late on this channel. But this is a surprise unboxing for her and uh, and a and, um, slight review on it. And then as the video goes on, there's going to be a little surprise because she doesn't know what I'm opening. Okay. I got my other daughter, Alicia, behind the camera. She's helping us videotape this. She thinks she's a YouTube expert. So, as you know, I've been on the channel for a little over a year. I don't have many followers right now, but the goal is to get there. You know, uh, I've been collecting for about 17 years. I've amassed a large collection over the years, and my wife hates it. A mm, couple of things she likes. But uh, I want to get more active on this channel. Um, and it also uh, puts money into some of the mentoring that I do uh, for C2E2, where I'll be taking 20 kids to the C2E2 in Chicago in December. They moved it back. It's supposed to be going on normally around this time, but it got pushed back. So those are some of the things that we do with this channel. I have a Facebook page called Cool Nerds, K-O-O-L, Nerds, N-E-R-D-Z lounge cool nerds lounge on facebook where we talk about pop culture comic books action figures statues and everything that we love in this community so today we're going to be doing the unboxing i got my lazy susan the old school one haven't whipped out the electronic one yet but i've got to get my fat cave together so here we go some side show collectibles let's see if we can see that i got that nice box and this is I'm gonna open it up. I'm not gonna say anything yet. Let me get these scissors. Thought about making this a live video, but thought against it. Okay. So it's one of her favorite, one of my daughter's favorite TV shows on TV right now. This is near and dear to a lot of fans' heart. From Star Wars, The Mandalorian. What is that? Uh, the Child. The Child. So, this one's been out for a little while. So, we're going to go ahead and take this out the box. Everybody knows what the child looks like. But, it's got a little instruction. It's pretty cute, I guess. Definitely one of my daughter's favorite characters on TV right now, I would believe, right? <laughs> oh, it's a nice box. All right, with the box, it's like another sleeve. And under that sleeve, you reveal the art box. And you have pictures of the child, of course, and the Mandalorian. And it depicts everything that you would see in the show. Nice box. Never cut this off. I never cut that strip. So I always leave that. I always try to preserve that if I can. So this is a statue, unlike the Hot Toys one. I checked out the Hot Toys version of the child. I saw videos of it. I still think that this one is better in my opinion from what I've seen. Um, it just looks more lifelike to me. Um, my daughter already has the, uh, the the Funko Pop, the 10-inch Funko Pop one of this that I gave her. So that's in her room right now. 
Okay, so you got a few things. You got the base, you got the shift knob, and of course, the prize. You got the child. So we're gonna get them on out of there. I like the material on this jacket. Well, this cloak. That's very lifelike. It's got the hairs at the top. The loose smell. Oh, hair. She, she mentioned the hairs. Okay, so out of the box, that's the child. Oh man, he's so cool. Look at him. What you think? It looks good. I like the Come in the camera. structure too. I like the eyes. Yeah, it's a pretty nice. It's pretty nice, right? All right. Okay, here's the shift knob, man. You gotta put that in the magnet. It's a, a magnet on one of his hands. Um, I think it's the. Yeah, that is. It's on the right hand. So, guys, you already saw this figure, so you know what it is. And uh, it's pretty simple. You, you don't have to do a lot of... That's a strong magnet. You hear that? If you can hear that from here, that's a good magnet. Very strong magnet. Um, I like the base. I like the, the bottom of the base. It's got the, uh, the image of the Mandalorian and the child and his... Um, uh, floating futuristic baby cradle that's what i call it limited edition now one thing that sideshow collectibles did not do was number these i'm surprised they didn't go that route because i think it would have brought more value to the statue but um, when this thing sells out i think it's going to double in price immediately because you know people uh, miss out on things like this because they're hesitant I did not hesitate. You know, I did move the payment back because I had so many other orders. I had to move the payment back a couple times. This got a nice, nice thick peg for his foot. And it's it's just that simple. But I had so many things on pre-order, I had to knock it back. Oh, that's a nice tight fit as well. So I had to move it back. That's why I didn't uh do the review sooner. But look at the hair fibers. Oh man, this thing is is nice. What's your favorite part about it, Aaliyah? Uh, the Hanging eyes and bit. the hair. Like, and his face. Now, do and you, his cloak, I like. Do you, do you think that the, uh, do you have any complaints about the rosy cheeks? Mm -mm. Now, is that realistic to the show to you? Yeah. Moving to her a little bit. Now, that was a big complaint about this, this statue is they said the cheeks were rosy, but this makes it look more lifelike and, and in person this thing is amazing i mean i don't know if the camera does it justice but I, i'm looking at my my camera and i'm seeing a good image now i got i'm doing this, shooting this with a uh a iphone xr and i'm using hd at 60 uh frames per second and i think it's showing pretty well i'm in i'm in my living room uh we have you know the can lighting and um and then I'm, I'm using the halo light that I'm that I have my phone with, and I think it's coming out. Uh, it's popping pretty good for me, and and the rosy cheeks to me it gives it a more realistic element. And when I look at that, I'm starting to not understand the complaints because this is the first time I've had this in hand. I think it looks beautiful. I I, I like the the material on the ears. Um, to me, this is what separates it for 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 me with the hot toy. And will I get that one? I'm not sure. Um, this one looks very realistic. I like the t the feel of it. You know, um, the feel of the ears. The ears look more realistic. They actually look like they have a canal. Whereas the Hot Toy one looks more like a toy. And the, the seams on the Hot Toy bothered me. Uh, I think that the cloak looked a little bit more realistic on this one. So overall, I was sold on this one when I first saw it. Now, if you go on Sideshow, there's about 130 reviews. I've never seen any statue that they've ever put out that have that many reviews in such a short time. That means this is a beloved, beloved statue. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is definitely a 9.5 out of 10. I don't typically collect things like this. I am a Star Wars fan. So with that being said, my daughter,
pan over to her a little bit. It's her first year in high school, and she's at an agricultural high school here in Chicago. It's uh, called CHAS. What mm -hmm. does that stand for? Uh, Chicago Agricultural Sciences. Okay, and my daughter wants to be a veterinarian. Now, she's been telling me that before she can even say the word veterinarian properly. So, this year, she's at the top of her class. Due to COVID, she hasn't stepped foot in the school other than the time we had orientation when I took her. And she's doing excellent. And I'm proud of that for that. Very proud of her. So, therefore, as she did not know when we were doing this unboxing, this belongs to her. So, I'm gifting this to my 14-year-old. Kind of like an early birthday gift. She'll be 15 in June. So, that's hers. Will I get another one for the back cave? I don't know. But... Now, my other daughter behind the camera is a little jealous. I understand. So she's waiting on her gift, <laughs> of course. And she has a smile on her face that's kind of sinister. But it's yours. What do you think? I definitely like it better than the one I already have. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like realistic. It? And like, I like the look of it. Yeah. You talk about the Funko Pop. She likes it better than the Funko Pop. Yeah. Um, you know what? I know my daughter. She would have asked me for this thing. <laughs> she was like, you think I could get that one? She used to be into these real small action figures when she was young. She was like obsessed with very small toys. And everything that I had that was small, she'll, she'll be like, Dad, can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? I have it? Until she got what she wanted. You know, this is my, my, um, my big girl. She'll always be my baby. Y'all know how it is. I'm a, I'm a girl dad. I have three daughters. This is Aaliyah. Behind the camera is Alicia. And then I have Alana. So, I mean, that's what God blessed me with. Uh, a bunch of girls. And I wanted to do something special for her. And actually, you know, and during this season of COVID, it's, it's been real challenging. Children that have to do school um, online for the first time in their lives. It's a big challenge. And my other daughter, she's doing well as well. Um, and, I, and I'm grateful for that. And it's a blessing. But the challenge of going to high school, and this is your first year, freshman year, and you don't get to step foot in the school. And then you ace everything. You deserve to get a little something, something. You know what I mean? So congratulations on your new Sideshow Collectible, The Child. What is his name? Do you know his name? Oh, my God. Grogu. <laughs> so, it's yours. What do you think? I like it. What is your rating? Uh, A 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. I gave it a 9.5. I'm... And I don't see why the cheeks would be a problem either. So, point out your favorite features and you give your, your um, um, thoughts. The eyes, because they're like really clear. The facial expression the hair, uh, the nails, because they look polished, and the cloak, because like has a nice feel to it. Those are all of my favorite features. Cool. And the wrinkles too, like on the face. Yeah. I noticed that she watches a lot of Star Wars, so I see her in there watching um, The Mandalorian. But I'm I'm shocked that she missed out on she missed when they gave him the name Grogu. So she she uh, she's slipping on that, but that's okay. Um, everybody calls this this little thing the child, so that's what we're gonna go with, and it's hers, and it gets to get into the Aaliyah cave. All right, YouTube. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, I want to bring more content, trying to get more followers. When I get to 100 followers, I'm going to do a random drawing. And if you go back to some of my old videos, you know that there's a book, a little Star Wars book. With actually, I think the child or either Yoda is on the cover. So I'm going to be giving that out. And then like 500 followers, I'm going to be giving things out. I also do raffles. I've done a raffle on uh, Facebook. Very successful. Some of the money is um, going to the Epilepsy Foundation. Tonight, I'll be on Facebook on my regular page, and I'll be doing a raffle. And I'm raffling off a Jerry Rice 
signed, authenticated jersey, framed and everything, and a Terrell Owens. Same thing, signed, authenticated. They're by JSA and uh, I think Beckett. So those are the types of th things I'm going to be doing on this channel in the future. So I haven't been that active. I got a lot going on. I'm actually in a theological seminary at Moody Bible Institute. I have a full-time job. I'm a full-time father, a full-time husband, and I'm a part-time collector, but my wife is getting tired of these boxes. Um, Jim Mint collectibles, uh, Batman statue collector, uh, they can relate to what I'm talking about. And also Mr. Um, Mr. X, Extreme Channel. Those are my favorite three channels that I, that I keep up with. Uh, guys that I follow, they have similar lifestyles that I do. Married men with uh, wives that are getting tired of all this stuff. But anyway, it belongs to her now. So I might have to buy another one. Hmm. Sideshow Collectibles. Should I buy another one? YouTube. Should I buy another one for myself? Let me know in the comments. But it, again, like, comment, subscribe. This is Fatal, the Collector. Just like, comment, and subscribe to Fatal, the, the Collector. collector.